So M me, Mr. Eaton here, trying to become Cheese Dojang winner. Last time it was four, four all, five four. It was pretty close. It gets closer and closer with each Cheese Dojang match. So I'm gonna go back to Horang. Uh, they'll be here today. Play Jin? No, I'm not gonna play Jin. The Eternal Suzaku. Of course, we have to be in what do you call that? In uniform, right? Okay, the F3. I remember when that was mid. That move was crazy. Hop kick. I should really punch Barry that. Ooh, the movement, ish movement. And down three four. It down three four. One two. Goes downstairs. Does this? No, it won't. What? Crazy. Break another floor. There's only one floor remaining. Running two. Ah, uh, okay. I I was over eager at that moment to press a button. All right. One, two. Beautiful check. Oh, straight into the sky. JFSR. One, two. Back downstairs. This is the last floor already. A raid. Cheesy ladder kicks. All right. On point is Ethan. Going for the low already. Down two. Okay, that's not guaranteed again. It's still 9 p.m. after this set. Again, depends on how fast this set goes, Jeff. Typically with Ethan, it goes like down the wire. So I don't know if we can hit before 9. There's a lot of uh, low parries there. Okay. Running two. Mmm, the Ana down back three. Counter hit launcher. Well, Ana's is a natural launcher. A little bit short there. Ooh, you got a neutral. You got a block. You got a standing block the second hit. You can neutral block the first hit of Hunting Hawk, but you can't neutral block the second hit of new Hunting Hawk. Fight. Okay. Ooh, straight to the sky again. One, two. To the wall we go. I keep picking that Oki. I just think it's gonna do me well in this matchup. The matchup is both character and player. <gasps> Bloody guillotine, channeling my inner Brian Fury. I did not duck that. Press. Down 3 4. Beautiful block. Back one. Yes, Lars, it is Huarang. Huarang, Huarang, the kicking boy. So that's 1 0. Can I just do it? Never mind. <laughs> I did it and I. Go straight into the air. My favorite place in the world. Ooh, a big knee from Claudio. Back four. I'm gonna channel my inner Steve Fox. Okay. A lot of people loving cheese and ooh, cheese for everyone. Just like that blue cheese from Claudio. Round two. <laughs> Again, depends on how fast this set goes, Jeff. Wow, this the movement. Evading the hop kick with the low. That should have been Ethan's in Ethan's favor. I actually got that punish. I honestly wasn't looking for it. I just I just pressed the button. While standing for for Oh okay. Yeah, so go big. Pixel of health in a dream. Alright. <laughs> I really have to make him focus on something else first before he starts ducking that. That's how you get moves in. Because again, they're, they're spending their resources on other stuff and focusing elsewhere. So what they used to duck, they won't be able to duck. Or they duck less, right? The probability is less. And you only need it to happen like one or two times. Do you have to? Do you have to? Ooh, the hop kick range, the Nova Skyblade. I believe that's the name of Claudio's hop kick, the Nova Skyblade. Pretty cool name. JFSR. This is not a good situation. One, two. Almost there. Running two. And you know, I'll take that. Plus three. Out of range though. Mm. Two. And if we play Jif, depending on the time, let's say it hits. How fast would this be? Give or take, it would be something like 9.15. Floor break. Was that guaranteed? I don't remember. 
Yay. Oh, almost there. So it's 30. Oh. You want to play two? So we're filling up the slots really, really fast now. <laughs> so at 34, you'll be first place if people want cheese, right? <laughs> so abut naman. Okay. Oh, another one. I think you're looking at the lows a little bit too much. I have barely done any lows throughout this set in the first two games. It's been literally mid galore. Oh, the biggest drop of my life. I could have gotten so much damage off that. What platform do I play on? I play on Steam. I think majority of players play on Steam already. Like everyone's transferred to what do you call this? To PC. Oh wow, that was like two. He's looking for something. He's definitely looking for something. It's a question of do I give it? Okay, at least it's not like Anna's. That makes it, that puts me in a very fortunate situation. Okay, sidewall save lives. Ah, oh, no punish. One, two, three. Two slices of blue cheese there. Oh, almost. Can we still make it? You can. Almost there. We got the same. Oh, beautiful. Because again, if you you duck it, right? You duck and launch it, you can get far far more optimal punish. And I believe neutral hop kick is like the best punish you can get there. Oh, he didn't duck. Beautiful punish here from Ethan and great awareness. To differentiate the mid-high from the, the mid-mid. Ooh, the float. But however, no more... Ob no more Ose. No more blue stuff. 3-0. Again, this is not what this is about. That's why the stars aren't on. I would <laughs> I would love what they call this a share. A like or like spreading the cheese around much more than a star. Because if this was about stars, I would have enabled them a long time ago. Because I've been eligible for them ever since I started doing this. There's a push for the Taekwondo girl on Tekken 8. I'd love, you know, again, if you're not gonna use Beck's moveset, you're not gonna bring Beck back, could you at least, you know, put it to a different character, even if it's a newer character, right? Like a different design? That'd be cool. So if she gets in, that'd be amazing, because she was a Tekken Mobile character, right? So I'd love to see her get in with, like, Beck's moveset, with a couple of new stuff with it. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see that character in. And I, I want to play another Taekwondo character. Because... <laughs> I only know how to play Hoang. I want to I wanna get the Beck experience. Like all the time, every time I watch a, a Tekken 5 or a Tekken 6, you know, Beck or Tag 2 Beck, I'm like, I get jealous. <laughs> because they get to do all the cancels and all the mind games. I'm like, oh, I want to do that. I want to get that cheese. Fight. Backlash. Wow, beautiful. Oh, yeah, those are... Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, Serena loves cheese. I bought mech buttons. They're 175 each. They're a good alternative for gamer fingers. I see. Oh no, I'll stick with the Sanwa. But again, for anyone who wants a recommendation, again, if you want a gamer finger feel, right? Because those buttons are pretty expensive. Um, Jeff has you, I got, got your back. Okay, now I'm overdoing the lows. So Ethan's initial game plan of going for lows is now gonna pan out. Oh wow, that was not a whiff punish. No, much thanks, man. But there's a lot more other stuff I'd rather want than money. Do you want this too? Ouch, let me go. Well, then again, that was just one running two. Again, we're back to neutral. And the two hits! That's gonna put Ethan up the board for two slices of red cheese, and that's gonna be 3-1. The change to arena made a big deal before I can even get to, like, <laughs> this guy's level. A4. Again, depending on the skill level, but based on the people who are already lining up, I don't think I'll get an opportunity to Anna. Maybe if it's against a cheese Dojang winner, so where I technically have nothing to lose. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. I don't think I'll get an opportunity like that again. Because everyone's here gonna try to steal cheese and become a cheese Dojang winner. A beautiful maneuver from Ethan. 30 seconds, will this be it? One running two. 
Ooh. Harold loves cheese. Great. Oh, it's shift zone. All right, there you go, guys. It's shift zone. There's potential. What you're saying is that there's potential. That's, that's good news. <laughs> there is potential. I think it's the comfortability that, you know, it, 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 it kicked in after quite a while. Mm-hmm. Press. Whiff. Okay. Ethan loves cheese. Beautiful whiff punish. I may have to swap change stage. If not stage, well, not character. I'm not gonna swap character. That was an RFS F a forward four moment, a twaha. It's like Bruce. They could have brought back Bruce, right? Just in a different character model. It's like what they did with Soul Calibur Five. If you've played Soul Calibur Five or at least heard of it, wherein they literally changed the whole cast for like the second generation. So like Keelik and Shang was kid, Shang was kid, etc. Taki's disciple, blah blah blah. And then they left Keelik, Sofitia as like weapon masters. They're like the Mokujins. Yes, what's up? Down three four. Oh no, I'd like to see. I definitely like. <laughs> I'd definitely like to see the Taekwondo girl get in. Although I'm not sure if I want, uh, since she's gonna be Beck's move list anyway with a couple of changes, I think that's okay. I don't know if I want a new character because we have too many new characters in Tekken 7 and each Tekken always gets new characters, right? So it's like adding upon the legacy knowledge you have to know Three years. and something like that. So for me, again, if it's like, if it's Beck, it's gonna be way easier for me to add it in because I already have an idea of how Beck plays. Back four, channel inner Steve Fox, just like that. Jason loves cheese, and I'll have a magic four at last. <laughs> uh, well, a normal magic four, because again, you can technically say Huarang has a magic four in what he called this back four. It's just similar to Steve's back one. Hey, oh, good evening. We are motivated for sure. There's already like four four sets for tonight. Really, really fast. Ouch. Do you have two? One, two. Cheese keeper. RFF DF3? Okay, nothing. Chio! I was gonna do cheesy ladder kicks. I'm gonna do back four again. Beautiful maneuver or movement from Ethan. I'm repeating so many words. 3-3. Three, three. I haven't done that in a while. That's max damage. Is that low? No, it's not. It's a mid. Guessing wrong is Frontier. Ooh, that's an interesting combo. <laughs> I like the, I like what you tried. But I, I am ready. Brian loves cheese. One, two. Ooh. Running four. Ooh, straight into the sky. With the hop kick. Whoa! Combo drop. Yes, you can still block that. Beautiful. I missed that. That punish. That's punishable. I'm playing Smash with a friend. Yeah, of course you can reserve. So you and Zach are reserved. I know Zach reserved for this Friday. But again, your slot remains reserved until you actually play a set. The kickback, baiting Frontier. He's like, here you go, here's some cheese. It's like the cheese trap. It's like how you catch rats. It's like you just put cheese, and then Frontier goes for it. And you get a free whiff punish. <laughs> yes, Horan can parry it. Characters with like a punch parry. You can, you, can you can even walk it. And uh, walking would be like the most optimal way to punish uh, that particular unblockable. Mm hmm I rushed it. I deserve that counter hit. One, two. Oh, ending it with the running two. Back two. Man, that homing move is pretty good. Do you have two? Woo! Resplat on point is Ethan. Alright, final final. John loves cheese. We'll see. Will it end on a 5-1 or will we see another game and making it 4-2? Ooh, hop kick. Thank goodness I had the frames to cover myself. Beautiful awareness here from Ethan. I rushed it again. I wanted to channel my inner Steve Fox. 4-3. <gasps> Late. Go in. Mmm, this is big. Alright. And good games to Ethan. Good games! The character. 
Ha, caught it. All part of the plan. <laughs> Indeed, it is all part of the plan. He's rooting for devilish JK. It's like devil, devilish, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it tonight, I promise you. You're gonna be part of the cheese dojang winners. You're gonna become the 15th cheese dojang winner, all right? Rooting for you, I'm rooting for you.